So last year I took Melissa camping and I took her in the most tiniest tent ever to the Lake District. And I wasn't sure whether she's going to like it or not. So I've only booked a couple of nights, but she loved it. Because she's adventurous and we were messing around through the forests and up the hills and going crazy. But the point is she liked it. So this year I've stepped it up a gear. Because we're going to go to Glencoe in Scotland. Camp slap bang in the middle of the Three Sisters. And take a massive tent. Like everything. Everything. Fishing rod, two fridges, gas, kettle, foldable buckets and pans, chairs, massive walking boots, a chemical toilet, everything's coming. Even a portable shower, water, um, torches, Kindle. And under there is a massive, massive tent. So we're going to see if she likes it. I think she's going to love it. She's excited for it. But the only trouble is, it's been cold. It's been a really unseasonably kind of cold May. So we're going in about two weeks time. So I'm like hoping the weather temperature kind of increases a few degrees. Not bothered about rain. Of course it's going to rain. It's Scotland. It's always going to rain. It's temperature. I'm just hoping that temperature just rises a little bit so we don't get too cold. But we've got firmware just in case. And, you know, I'm going to take a massive double duvet, uh, double bed. And really kind of make it like a glampy camping. So it's going to be like a posh, posh kind of camping. You know, a little bit upper class. So fingers crossed. But one of the things I've realised is I can't fit it all in the car. Because we're also bringing my mum. My mum's coming. <laughs> so there's three of us. So I can't fit it all in the car. So I've had to order transverse roof bars and a roof box which is arriving today in about two hours. So once that arrives, I'll show you my new roof box. So where we're going is about here, just above Loch Lomond. Just near Ben Nevis, Fort William, and there you go, Glencoe. And around here is the Three Sisters. So we're looking forward to it. Oh my gosh, it is a bit bigger than we big. thought, babe. What's she... that? Oh my god, it's massive. Do you know the problem that we've got when we come back from this that... epic camping trip? Where are we going to store it? Oh my god, that is massive. Oh, well, it's quite light though, isn't it? In a minute, in a minute. And guess what's arrived too? The rails, because obviously these go on top of the car, so the box fit on top of the rails. <laughs> Modular case system. A very glossy black. Right, let's have it. Wow. It's very nice. Oh yes. Oh, the your keys. Keys. Your keys is there. Is that oh we'll have to work out. Let's do some playing around and then assemble it on top of the rails. So we've managed to fit the new rails, but it went okay, we've never put them on before. So Melissa's just trying to lock that that front left. Then we're gonna mount the box with these brackets. And I think it looks pretty cool to be fair. <laughs> I never actually realised how trying it is to get one of these things on the car. It's doable, but it's just like a lot of flapping about, making sure everything's symmetrical on the brackets. But it looks like a beast now. It's ready for the wilderness right we going some uh, bathroom just baby just Think about space saving.
Oh, and nicely put, done. Oh, yeah. Love. Right. That's well solid, June. babe. And oh lag. my god, look at that! And that's it. R rock hard, babes. Yeah, and save a space on the bags or on the rock bags. And right. Oh, just the um, holding the plant for me. Yeah, okay. Is that right? <laughs> you need a long reach for this, don't you? Right. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> You managed love. You did it. Thank you now for your help. You did it, mister. You're You're excited for Scotland. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah. We go in the Queen Sisters Mountain. Queen Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, love. It's a Queen's or <laughs> Thank you, love. Our midway stop off on the way to Glencoe and we're in Orcum. Costa del Morco, Bipply breezy. Say hello, Mum. Hi. Can you see from the bright sunshine? And Melissa's over there. <laughs> we made it one hour to Morco. Beautiful Morco Bay. Good morning. You've got that uh, my hair. A bit messy. <laughs> All right. Pit stop in Morecambe. Cheers. Working from home today and tomorrow, just before we go. Good morning. We're not in Scotland yet. Pit stopping in Morecambe to pick up my mum. That's a car there, fully loaded on the prom. Not a bad view today. <clears throat> but I've got to work from home today and tomorrow because we're going on Friday so not a bad I can cope but so far so good car's fully loaded all, already do you ever get that time where you kind of regret any element of camping in Britain and this is the reason why it is chucking it down but we believe the weather is going to improve so that's what we're kind of hoping 150 miles, two and a half hours now we're in Abington. We treat ourselves to a cheeky hotel because we're camping, you might get a bit smelly and campfirey. So we thought we'll have a nice little break on the drive up. So here we are, <clears throat> little stop off hotel. Just for the night. You know what? It's a good area, isn't it? It is a nice area to stop over. There's literally nothing anywhere other than this place. Mm -hmm. But it's cheap and it's very clean. Mm. <clears throat> That's perfect just to get your head down for a night. Yeah, that was for sure. So this is our cheeky stop off on the way to Glencoe. <laughs> and Melissa's laughing because she's just realised that my camping body warmer has still got the tag on. And I've basically been wearing it all day long. <laughs> You're a cheeky bugger. I am a cheeky bugger. <laughs> so even though we've got a double bed and a child's bed, you're going to sleep in the child's bed? <laughs> this is my bed tonight, my love. I'm sorry. Sleeping behind. I've been cast to the side tonight. Yeah. Only because it is a very cosy bed. <laughs> Tonight, you so. have. All right, I'll let you have your own bed tonight. <laughs> Video. You're in the lakes, babe. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Cheers. <laughs> Breakfast. 
time. You okay, Mom? Yeah, fine, thanks. A bit of breakfast before we go to the campsite. <laughs> Enjoy your brekkies, guys. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Lovely breakfast. On our way now. Can I get takeout more? Oh yeah, we've got takeout too for the tent. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we made it. Oh, my bum's, <laughs> my bum's sore. You okay, Mum? Yeah. You made it. Yeah. Look at that. So we're just waiting to check into the campsite. So we're going to go see if we can get some food, uh, milk and stuff, uh, brew from this place here. So we've arrived at the campsite. <clears throat> we're quite amazed how busy it is. So it took us a while to kind of find a spot. Because, like, I know there's these places, but you feel like they're quite exposed and you don't want to come to glorious, glorious Scotland to be looking at a Honda and a Volkswagen. <laughs> well, we think we found a really nice place. We're going to kind of go here. But we're on the ice creams first. <laughs> hey, dog. The bird's really friendly. <laughs> So we're here, and let me give you the grand, the grand tour. But first, let me say, what a bloody brilliant car. It handles some really great roads. So we've got a little seating area there. Carpet, washing up facilities and cooking facilities. Beds, small double, large double. Duvets and quilts. Round to the side there, look. Melissa's got these lovely little lights on all around the tent, each side. And then here we've got fabulous Melissa just doing some final work, putting the line on our toilet tent. This is a children's play mat we got for like two quid. A shower system. So we can take a shower. Chemical toilet. Keeps, us, longer, keeps yeah, us going for uh, a good week at least. And then we've got water here which is perfect. Just so we can make up plenty of brews. You okay babes? Yeah. Oh you Fabulous creativity. Yeah. Mum there having a beverage. It's free for washing line. Washing line as well. Yeah. Doubles up as washing line and stops our shower toilet blowing away. These are our neighbours. It's not too busy. But like look over there, there's like all these uniformed perfect matching tunnel tents that all link up. Imagine you go in one and you can just squirrel your way through the rest. And then there's this weird, like at that, it's like a dome thing going on. Nice hills and mountains over there. Someone can light a fire there. That's the only thing we need to work out is where we can light a fire. We're kind of thinking there or over, probably over in that corner. Got a few fellow neighbors to our, to our right. Yeah, I think you'd probably light a fire there, to be fair. 
if you want to but we've got a barbecue some charcoal half from the yeah we'll get some woods next time we venture out i think a big bag six quid but yeah is it just over there i will take a walk later on if you want then and have a look yeah sound, sounds good six pounds for wood but yeah it's a good tent this is a great tent let me just give you the the sky high view oh, that's marvelous. it's not bad it's, i think we've got quite a good bargain with this got it from uh, go outdoors and it's a euro hike ride l 500 if anybody's interested there's actually the front main door there and then there's a side door there which i'm going to use when i sneak through after my showers but yeah it's nice it's pretty good so we're here for our epic adventure in Glencoe, the Highlands of Scotland. Like when you look at them, you think they're all like joined up, but they're not. But they, you think they are. Nice, isn't it? How you doing, guys? You okay? Yeah. Look at the views. They're pretty crazy. It's going wide screen. Zoom. It's amazing. It's amazing. Just taking a walk around the campsite just to get familiar with it all. Nice, isn't it? Around here. How'd they get around there? Some people might be wild camping. You okay, Mom. <laughs> Things to do in Glencoe. Seven Harry Potter film site. They said they have Nisa local in village. Wow, it's the next village. It's making a little brew. And Melissa's playing with a fire because she's just cooked us a gorgeous chicken and uh, pork. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Cup of tea time, cup of tea time. Just come up to the first evening. And as you can tell, they're driving and pitching the tent. This is what's happened to everybody. <laughs> They've all gone really, really knackered. So they're just chilling out, enjoying it. Oh, yeah. It's 40 Z's time. This is the sofa. Well, it's like an extra lilo bed in the tent. Barbecue feet, barbecue feet, because it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue feet, barbecue, barbecue feet. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Are you trying to roast your feet? <laughs> oh my gosh, it sets yourself on fire. The quality fire, that, babe. Oh, that's nice one. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Go, that one. Go to moon. <laughs> Go to moon, that one. Go to moon. <laughs> oh, that's stunning, that. Crazy. Yeah. It's lovely watching flames, isn't it? As long as it's not like, you know, your house or something. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. My grandma said, the worst thing is like, your, your house is like on fire. Oh my lord, watching everything just go to dust. Then, then the burger, he said, it's alright, someone will go your house. Mm, oh fire. yeah. Oh my God. Are you doing me some toast, my love? I'm making some toast. That's a good invention. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's got a bit stuck though, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it smells like toast, though. <laughs> 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 it kind of looks like toast. There's no central heating. There's no central heating. This is this is the reality of camping. There's no central heating. 
<laughs> what we need to do is shut the door and just boil a kettle of water. <laughs> okay, Mum. Yeah? You're warmer now with the yeah, heating on. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, that's it's a nice great. little heater, that, isn't it? Brilliant. I mean, you always got to make sure you've got a bit of ventilation coming through, but that's, that's okay. Oh, we got a bum bum shaking, shaking Melissa here. This is going on YouTube, babe. <laughs> Are you twerking me, baby? Are you twerking me? <laughs> you twerking me with my strappy socks, baby. <laughs> oh, that's toasty, Mum. Yeah, as long as you get a little bit of ventilation, we shouldn't die of carbon monoxide, Mum. <laughs> Actually, it's quite dangerous using these. I bet a lot of people watching this are going to tell me a stern, no, you mustn't use these heaters in a, in a tent at all. This is the first morning. <laughs> it was about... What was that? Was it? it must have been about two degrees or something like that. Yeah. It was. It was cold. But anyway, Melissa is cooking delicious omelette. Though. Omelette. Omelette for the morning. Omelette with duck eggs. Very nice. With tomato. Nice, babe. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Day number one. <laughs> Day number one. Guys, Mum's waiting in the car. But we are, we are gonna do oh, yeah. cable car up the mountain. <laughs> Hence why Mum's waiting in the car because she said, do you know what? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god. They're like an open exposed chairlift. <laughs> oh this is really this is <laughs> this is like really serene. Oh. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh I forgot my cap. Oh it's okay, I've got my hood. Got your hood, yeah. Oh my oh, god. Oh this is not something really cool. It's cold. It's a bit sweaty. <laughs> I didn't realise oh. that you can go up on a chairlift. Oh my god. And with a bike, and yeah. then you can mountain bike down. Oh, what is that? Look at that. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I'm, not, I'm now really starting to think I've done my shoelaces. Oh god, look at that, mate. Uh. <laughs> my pants are caught. Yeah. Real time drama. Oh my god, it's a bit sweet. Yeah, I think Mum made the right decision oh, actually. Yeah, yeah. That's in her. Oh can't, my god. There's two. And you won't get all three of us on the same cable, like a chair. So she'd have to go up on her own. Actually, this is a great adventure sport. Can you see there? The chairs, that's like a hook for your man, mate. Oh my god. Oh my. I need to put my hands in the pocket. I... What for the mountain bike? Yeah, look, yeah, you hook your bike right on the on the end there. Yeah. Hold on to it, and then you come down right. on the mountain bike. Yeah. Right. Go on the back. <laughs> Are you alright, sweetheart? No, no, I'm not right. It's cold. <laughs> it's, it's like late May, late May, and it's freezing. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what's going on? Sunshine, to be fair. All right, Go we'll check back in in a minute. Go on the oh, we're at the top now. <laughs> Look at Melissa. She's got everything on, even the good gloves. Oh, okay. So, Look, it's snow. And there's people who really mean business.
gosh. Check out this lovely view here. bikes and go crazy down but maybe when it's a bit warmer than it is today mm. anyway we want to get down now and get a brew <laughs> it's a good experience so you've got to be done for first you okay babes <laughs> it's cold we're waiting to get a brew at least the sun's come out So we ended day one, just just come back from Fort William after we went to Glencoe on the chairlift. So I had a look around Fort William and I got a, a sleeping bag. Melissa's just cooking some meals for us. It's been really wet, like really raining. So we're just sitting here now chilling for a bit. Well, it's good that the rain stopped, Mum. Yeah, yeah. We had about, what, about a good three or four hours of it being quite crazy. It's lovely, isn't it, watching the flames dance? We've got free entertainment tonight, some guys singing. Check out the lights, Melissa's brought around the tree and then like dragonfly lights around the front of the entrance. It looks really nice. So we're just off to the Harry Potter viaduct. It's a famous viaduct that was used in all the movies. <laughs> Check this out. Please maintain social distancing. You okay, Mom? Yeah. You okay, babes? Yo, yo, yo. yo. The crazy sat-nav tried to physically drive us to the viaduct <laughs> down a road that was closed. Let's get a bit closer. What's this babe? Station Museum, sleeping and dining cars, viaduct trail and viewpoints. Hi mom. <laughs> Look at that, my Look at my hood. How many layers can How you have? How many layers on? I have? Two. I've got four on, and it's <laughs> nearly June. Come to Britain, they say. You'll have fun. <laughs> the viaduct look. Viaduct look, guys. Steam train, babe! I got a perfect timing. Harry, we love you! <laughs> Harry Potter! <laughs> Yay! We like the most perfect timing, Mum. Yeah. Now we know why, why everybody was on the top bit waiting.
I'm sure it went faster in the movie though. Wanna go to Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, babe! I want to go to Hogwarts! <laughs> that was like perfect timing! Oh my god, it's very perfect! That was perfect timing! That's so cool! But, but I want to go! <laughs> It's like I was wondering why there's like 50 people on that hill. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that's great. like perfect time and I didn't even know it was going to come at this time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh, I want to go to Hogwarts. Is it, is it 50% off the Harry Potter ones? I don't know. Because otherwise it's 32 pounds a wand. <laughs> Hey everybody, did you have a good day? Did you enjoy Harry Potter's viaduct? The fabulous road trip and the flames. Flame cam. Time to chill. My socks are wet. My socks are wet. Try not to set my socks camping, on fire. Yeah, it's no, no dryer in here. <laughs> Go on the pie. And the smelly socks. <laughs> and the citronella candle. <laughs> Easy. Right. Feel warm now. <laughs> and you, your sock is a bit dry now. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's lovely. It's nice. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Had to stop the logs rolling off on me, on my little feet. <laughs> Thank you, love. Get a rock on your feet. <laughs> yeah, put your feet there later on a bit warm. Okay. Nice, babe. I put more uh, stones, so the heat is going to the stones. Yeah. Oh, so right, yes. The heat is going boom. Like that. Thank you, love. Thank you for the challenge. Look at that. Cheers, Mum. Cheers. Cheers. What happened to that one, Mum? Look at that balloon <laughs> trick. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's not supposed to go on fire, you know. Oh my God, it's going on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my God. <laughs> Melting now. Look at my hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this is the closest I've ever got to ducks? <laughs> it's 
very friendly. Are you tempted in by the bread and everything? Bye. <laughs> Later, five minutes, Doug. Don't oh, waddle in that. <laughs> yeah. Don't be waddling in that tent, <laughs> necking the food. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're now on boiling a kettle on the ashes, <laughs> which is working remarkably well. Today we are in Oban, the port of Oban, with all these little tiny ferries are bobbing out to all the small islands. And for us, a restaurant. Hey. We have been in a restaurant for lunch after the morning drama. We had, <laughs> we had drama today. The French car has been trying to fix the Japanese so-called super reliable Mazda that broke down. <laughs> so the French car came to its rescue, i.e. we did. It was a bit of a flap to be honest. We had to buy jump leads and then try and get his battery going and it was like this brand new Mazda that had broken down. The joys of the Highlands, eh? But anyway, food time. <laughs> right, check out this very Let's go into the small, small little islands. Oh my god, it looks great. Good morning. Side door today. Oh. Oh, it's good morning, everybody. Beautiful day. Breakfast. Fabulous. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. I love your very pants. <laughs> I love your very pants. <laughs> That's very warm. They are very warm. <laughs> so one of the things we're doing every morning is because we there's no toilets around here or anything like that or showers. So we've got a chemical loo. And we've got a child's like toy play mat thing we got for like eight quid to make little cubic squares and then a wash system that works off an uh, electric shower which is really good I don't know if you can see that you just literally on demand squeeze that and the uh, water comes out and then you obviously choose the temperature we want um, for the water which we boil off the kettle kind of there when we want to take a shower and then we just every morning we just drive the waste section which is this lower tank we just we just take it around to a chemical waste section and just quickly dump it in and then flush it out but yeah it's pretty good it only takes us about 10 minutes but when you're kind of in somewhere a bit remote it just means you're able to have some luxuries
And also, when I was saying yesterday about a drama, it was this guy's Mazda. Everything is electronic on it, handbrake, tailgate, automatic. So his battery died. He couldn't even get into his boot. He couldn't move it, he couldn't push it. Everything was locked out. So we kindly nipped to the local town and got some jump leads. And with our mighty little French Citroen, we actually got the Japanese beast back up and running. So thumbs up to the French car. Not all bad. They've, they've made an invention so I can see where I'm going at night. Solar bloody lights. <laughs> oh my god. You have a nice earrings, love. At least I can see where I'm when I want to go to the toilet. <laughs> you okay, you two? Yeah. yeah. You got your sticks? Yeah. Your sticks to beat me up with. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm on the tree. Apparently you can get to the main road up there. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Have you seen this here? This looks really cool. It's got a um, heating system in it. Nice. To the real squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> Red Squirrel campsite. They've got showers and hair dryers. You okay, babes? Yeah, I'm ready to go there. <laughs> Look at the snow. You okay down there, Mom? Yeah, fine. Cooking with Melissa. Table is now outside for pork chop and chips with gammon steak. Is it two just, pork? Just two. Two pork chops and a gammon steak, I think. Right. At least it seems to be proper Scottish stuff. Yeah. And we got gammon. It's a gammon steak. Are you actually going to fry the chips as well, babe? That's great. Yes, yeah. And some uh, carrots and pepper, ball pepper. Oh, yes, sir. We can boogie. We can boogie our marinated simple chop for dinner with a lemon. Thank you, darling. What spices have we got? We have spices. Soy we sauce. Aromatic. Aromatic. Ground white pepper. And a sudden relocation due to the rain. Inclement. <laughs> Inclement weather. I'm sat here beautifully with a bag of logs, which we aim to burn and create a rather large fire. Like this. It's not monkey duck. Avoid black, but some soapy soapy. <laughs> <laughs> to avoid black, black, put some soapy soapy. I love. I love it, little babe. Hello, sir. Nice. Okay, yeah, to avoid the black settling on the pan. See, we're going to cook the actual steaks on the fire. Excellent. And we've got some charcoal.
the light in the mountain. You can tell you're from Romblon, babe. You have the most fantastic survival skills huh. that you can even cook gammon steak and fried chips. <laughs> I love you, babe. <laughs> Is this a test to see the oil? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, babes. Nice. It's, it's okay. Oil. It's okay. I have never seen chips cooked on an open fire. Why not? Amazing. You're living in Philippines, in um, provinces, mostly people cooking like this. You've got to be practical though, haven't you, you know? Practical, the gas is so expensive. Yeah. And the taste, using the charcoal and wood is different. Yeah. So, do you, will you cook the meat on the charcoal? Oh, yeah. Nice. Everything. So, at the moment, your mum's cooking off the charcoal, which is great. Because <laughs> she needs a gas. Thank you, love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready for gum and steak? And we have a pork chop. Oh, that well, is beautiful. She's slicing me in half so they're not as thick to um, cook. Yeah. Stupid. Look at that. Beautiful. Hmm. Ta da! That is beautiful, sweetheart. Okay, babe, there's some some peppers here. Are you going to put them onto the um, to grill them out? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Grilled. Little bit grilled. Nice. Um, the chips oh, is. Yeah. Um, chips are done. It's done. Thank you, my darling. As always, you are an absolute star. <laughs> star treasure, an amazing chef. Have you seen the magic tree that beautifully gives out water? <laughs> it literally has a tube installed through it. Sleeping Beauty. You're scared, man. Check this out. This is really nice. And the campsite's just in there, too. Yeah. I'm ready for it. The Presse de la Resistance. Wowzers. That's like so nice. I can think of worse places to camp.
beautiful here. It's a shame it's our last day and we've got to check out now. Start to unpack everything. Head back to the big smoke. Apparently this is the campsite swimming pool and <laughs> literally just a flat calm piece of water. <laughs> Why not? And we've actually seen someone give it a go as well. Our neighbour went and swim, went for a swim. If I was camping by myself, this is where I'd go. Small tent there, little fire there, woodlands. Car park is way over there, so okay, you've got to lug your stuff down. That's fine, worth it. Tent, fire, little pathway down, mountain, 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 mountain behind you and the stream. So you'd be listening to the water at night helping you sleep and you've got a view and you've got no people around you a couple of people off in the distance the only obviously downside is you've got to lug your stuff from that car park to here but this for a couple of people or what a single person this would be my prime prime picking for a camping site camping spot absolutely beautiful and that the noise from that river amazing Sadly, it's time to pack up. <laughs> How fast can we dismantle a little village? Well, a little house. Probably about, I reckon about 45 minutes will be sweet. Oh well, time to go. The one stop welly shop. Or something. Very neat. It's good, you got laundry 24 hours. Yeah. You got showers in there and everything too. Oh, on our way to Gretna Green now, where we're going to stay for one night. I don't like driving for more than about three and a half hours, so we do an overnight stay. So we just pulled in here for a break, have an ice cream. It's a bit noisy. How did you enjoy camping then? Oh, really? Oh my God, I really enjoy. It's really nice place. It's beautiful. How how big is the land in Scotland? It's oh my wow. God, how big is it? <laughs> Just massive, isn't it? It's massive land, very blessed country. Yes. And you think we only did halfway up the highlands as all that again, that's how big it is. Oh uh, plus all the islands you can go to on the ferries. Oh yeah, I like that island. Yeah, very nice. Um, what is that? Oh, Oban, Oban. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's going mm. on the island. Yeah. With a massive bag on the, on the bag. And the rock and whatever. Yeah. And got camping on the island. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that'd be great. That's a non-stop planning now. <laughs> so now we've got a plan. Camping session two. Oh. <laughs> 